ಫ್ಲೆಕ್ಸಿಬಲ್ ಬಂದರೆ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಎ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ರಿಫ್ಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಬಂದಿರೋ ನಮಗೆ ನಾವೇ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋದು ಸಿಮಿಟ್ರಿಕ್ ಅಂತಂದರೆ ಎರಡು ಕಡೆಯಿಂದನೂ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಏನಾಗಬೇಕು ಸೇಮ್ ಇರಬೇಕು ಇಫ್ ರಾಮ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಬ್ರದರ್ ಆಫ್ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಣ ಆಪೋಸಿಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಟ್ರೂ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಣ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಬ್ರದರ್ ಆಫ್ ರಾಮ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಇಫ್ ಸೀತಾ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ವೈಫ್ ಆಫ್ ರಾಮ ಬಟ್ ಆಪೋಸಿಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಟ್ರೂ ಸೀತಾ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ವೈಫ್ ಆಫ್ ರಾಮ ಬಟ್ ಆಪೋಸಿಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ರಾಮ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಹಸ್ಬೆಂಡ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ದೇ ಫೋರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅಸಿಮಿಟ್ರಿಕ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ ಮೀನ್ ವೈಲ್ ರಾಮ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದಿ ರಾಮ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಹಸ್ಬೆಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ರಾಮ ಸೌಂಡ್ಸ್ ರೆಡಿಕ್ಯುಲಸ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಸರಿನಾ ಈಗ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಏನು ಅಂತಂದರೆ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸಿಟಿವ್ ಸೊ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸಿಟಿವ್ ಏನು ಅಂತಂದರೆ ಸಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಬರೆಯೋದನ್ನು ಕಲಿಸ್ಕೊಡಿ ಫಾರ್ ಆಲ್ ನಾನು ಮುಂದೆ ಚೂಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆಲ್ ಎ ಕಮ ಬಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಿ ಬಿಲಾಂಗ್ಸ್ ಟು ಎ ಸರಿನಾ ಅಂದರೆ ಅರ್ಥ ಏನು ಐ ಆಮ್ ಚೂಸಿಂಗ್ ತ್ರೀ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಎ ಬಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಿ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಬಿ ಸೆಟ್ ಎ ಫಾರ್ ಆಲ್ ಎ ಕಮ ಬಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಿ ಬಿಲಾಂಗ್ಸ್ ಟು ಎ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ ಏನು ಗೊತ್ತಾ ಎ ಕಮ ಬಿ ಬಿಲಾಂಗ್ಸ್ ಟು ಅವರ್ ಇವನ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬಿ ಕಮ ಸಿ ಬಿಲಾಂಗ್ಸ್ ಟು ಅವರ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಇಂಪ್ಲಾನ್ಸ್ ದ ಎ ಕಮ ಸಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಬಿಲಾಂಗ್ಸ್ ಟು ಇವನ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಏನು ಅಂತಂದರೆ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಆಗಿ ಈಗ ಎ ಕಮ ಬಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಡಿಫೈನ್ಡ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ ಇಟ್ವಿ ಮೀ ಮೀ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಮ್ ಅದರ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಸರಿನಾ ನನಗೂ ಇವನಿಗೂ ಒಂದು ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ ಇದೆ ಸೊ ನಾಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಹೌ ಯು ಆರ್ ಥಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಂತ ಆ ಥರ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಅ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ ಸೊ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ವೈ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೈ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಸೊ ವೈ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೆಟ್ ದೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟೂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಯಿತಾ ಮೀನ್ ಶೂ ಇದರ ಒಳಗೆ ಬರ್ತೀವಿ ಅಂದರೆ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಏನಿದೆ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಡಿಫೈನ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ತ್ರೀ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಇದೆ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಬಿ ಸಿ ಇನ್ ಜನರಲ್ ಆಗಿ ನಾವು ಮ್ಯಾಥಮೆಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಮಲ್ ಬರೀಬೇಕು ಅಂತಂದರೆ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ರೈಟ್ ದಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎ ಬಿ ಸಿ ಫಸ್ಟು ಫೈನ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಟು ಎ ಬಿ ಅಥವಾ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ವೈ ದೆನ್ ವೈ ಝೆಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಯು ನೀಡ್ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಡೂ ಅ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಹೆಂಗೆ ಬರಿಬೇಕು ಇದನ್ನು ಫಸ್ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಕಾಮ ವೈ ಆಮೇಲೆ ವೈ ಕಮ ಝೆಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ರೈಟ್ ಝೆಡ್ ಕಮ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ರೈಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಕಮ ಝೆಡ್ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಯಿತಾ ಸೊ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಕಮ ವೈ ವೈ ಕಮ ಝೆಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಕಮ ಝೆಡ್ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಒಂದು ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಒಂದು ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ತೋರಿಸ್ನ ಲೆಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ರಿಯಲ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಹೆಂಗೆ ಲೆಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇ ಐ ಟೇಕ್ ಎ ಈಸ್ ಟಾಲರ್ ದನ್ ಬಿ ಎ ಈಸ್ ಟಾಲರ್ ದನ್ ಬಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ B, B is taller than C. Then, which implies that A is taller than C. No, I'll be different. Now, I'm defining relation like this. This is A. A, A is taller than B. So, this is B now. I can't do that. And what I'm telling here now? B is taller than C. ಇವಾಗ ನೋಡಿ ಎ ಈಸ್ ಟಾಲರ್ ದನ್ ಬಿ ಬಿ ಈಸ್ ಟಾಲರ್ ದನ್ ಸಿ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟೂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಎ ಈಸ್ ಟಾಲರ್ ದನ್ ಸಿ ಬಟ್ ಆಪೋಸಿಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಟ್ರೂ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ಸಿ ಎ ಕಮ ಬಿ ಬಿ ಕಮ ಸಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎ ಕಮ ಸಿ ನಾವು ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಎನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸಿಟಿವ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಪ್ಯಾರಲ್ ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ತಗೊಳ್ಳೋಣ ನಾವು ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ಲೈನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಇಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಎಲ್ ಒನ್ ಸರಿನಾ I have one more
Therefore, I can see that L1 is parallel to L2. L1 is not. L1 is parallel to L2. So, therefore, this is what kind of relationship now? Transitive relationship. So, help it for me. Reflexive, symmetric, transitive. If any given relation, any given relation, if it is, if it is reflexive, symmetric, and transitive, such a type of relation is called equivalence relation. Such a type of relation is called equivalence relation. What is an equivalence relation? Any given relation, if it is reflexive, symmetric, and Transitive Muru Agaga or the main and the Kriti Binavo, we call it as what? Equivalence relation. Clear? So transitive no proof not a self for Kashta. I mean, so for tricky, I get the Kashta of two. Clear? Now, even in your very good. From where you are taking these, uh, these elements from set A. What is the relationship you are looking for? If A, comma B is present, you are looking for B, comma C, which means that there should be A, comma C. A comma B is do, B comma C is do, then there should be A comma C is there, then we call such relations as what? Transitive relation. And there are one more one, null relation. You know, null relation. Null or MP. Null or MP relation. Null or MP relation are our relation here are there. No. I mean the, the relation which does not exist for a given set or okay, for a given set that is called null relation and those for us the other definition work over to but he got the mark for you. For example, let us say from A comma B belongs to A. So I have taken A from set A, even B from the set A. So that is domain codomain from A comma B belongs to A. Very enough. A plus B, A plus B is greater than or equal to 10. I mean, you need to find out this particular relation now. A plus B is greater than or equal to 10. And then, A B na add more than, yes, for we go 10, akwa 10 in the jasti. We know that A cross A mark and we will get all possible relationships that is 1 comma 1, I mean, 1 comma 2, 1 comma 2. And so on and so forth, up to three more. Add one to three, you know, three. Three plus three, na add one to each for a plus six for a plus. And there is no question of getting what now. Then, and then this kind of relation existed in the because the maximum what we can get is what three comma three is six. Therefore, we can never get what. Then you are already came there, find out this particular relation. You need to check whether this relation exists here or not. But surprisingly, this relation does not exist because maximum we can get how much now? 3 plus 3 is how much? 6. But then the condition is 10 or more than 10. The relation which does not exist is called as what? Empty relation or zero relation or even null relation. And the final one is universal relation. Universal relations. Universal relation on the domain itself it indicates. In any authority, you define any relation, that particular relation is present in this Cartesian product. You take any relation, that relation is present in Cartesian product. For example, for all, I am going to take A comma B belongs to A. Fair enough. A plus B is greater than or equal to 0. Now, we go ahead and check out what is the relation I am defining now. A plus B is greater than or equal to 0. A plus B is greater than or equal to 0. I am going to add money. For example, 1 comma 1, 1 plus 1, 2. Obviously, it is greater than 0. 1 comma 1 is greater than 0. Obviously, we can get a lot of money. Greater than 0. You take any relation for that matter. That will definitely fit into this given Cartesian product. And then, all our relations will be another thing. Fit? Ah, good. And there is no relation which does not fit into this. 
all our relations will be given this Cartesian product. Such a uh, such type of relation is called your universal relation. So forget about identity relation, forget, forget about empty relation, forget about universal relation. You need to remember only three types of relations: they are reflexive, symmetric, and transitive. However, reflexive, symmetric, and transitive. In the represent model, though, another thing is important. How do you represent? Reflexive, symmetric, and transitive. Because represent model can be too much enough mistakes. First, I'll talk about reflexive, symmetric, and transitive. Symmetric and finally, we will talk about transitive. Now, we will talk about the general representation of the world. For all, it belongs to A. How do we set for the world? How do we set A for the world? A, B for the world? B. A, A belongs to the given relation. And then, the relation of the A, 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 B is the given. That comes under reflexive, A, B, A, B. Example is very good. A is in the order from the given set. And you are checking that A comma A and the output of your relation of A to A is the one. So for example, let us take set A is equal to 1, 2, 3. Set A is equal to 1, 2, 3. We will have an example for all people. Then you have my relation is 1 comma 1, 2 comma 2. Right? Now, even the example, even the example, even the relation of reflexive how the alpha, first mark the new identity model try to remember whether this relation is a reflexive or not. This relation is reflexive or not. It is reflexive or not. It is not a reflexive. It is not. It is not reflexive. Because for all 3 comma 3 does not belong to the given relation. Yet away the popular set are living there 1, 2, 3, which means you can take from 1 comma 1 will be go, 2 comma 2 will be go, 3 comma 3 no, it will go. But in the end, we don't have what? 3 comma 3, therefore it is not a reflexive. Symmetric relationship that you represent not to be for all. How many you need? A comma B belongs to set A. A comma B belongs to R implies a rule that reverse order. B comma B should also belong to what? R. I will give an example now. Example, I am going to give one relation. One relation. Show me the other one possible relation for today. One comma B. Three comma one. Now tell me whether it is asymmetric or not. It is not asymmetric. Why? 1 comma 1 and 1 comma 1 and 1 comma 1 and 2 comma 1 is asymmetric. Like 2 comma 1 and 3 comma 1. It is not like that. In this relation, talk about this, talk about this relation. It is not asymmetric. It is asymmetric because we have 1 comma 3 when we have 3 comma. But if we go for that one. That is all possible relations. These are all possible relations. Ready? This is a given relation. You should check whether this given relation is a symmetric or no. This relation is symmetric. Now you might ask, so even though there are there is no 3 comma 3, you told that it is not a reflexive because it is identity relation. There is one more relation called identity. It is our relation are the identity are but in other reflexive are the reflexive are the 3 comma 3 is the same. Clear. If you say that this is reflexive, then we should forget about some relation called as what identity relation. So with respect to this, this is symmetric. The given relation is what? Symmetric because A comma B nu is a B comma A nu. Then coming to transitive. So transitive na yung represent mark kira yung for all. We need three elements of A comma B comma C. Belongs to what we call A. In very clear idea, A comma B should belong to a relation, comma even B comma C should belong to a relation, which implies A comma B, B comma C. Then one more yellow. 
1 comma 2 is 2 comma 1 in here. Check Madi. You have 1 comma 2. A comma B is But B comma A? Is the anodic? Is the anodic? Therefore, it is not symmetric. Why it is not symmetric? Because 1 comma 2 exists, but 2 comma 1 is the anodic. What is your relation? What is your relation to 2 comma 1 is now? Therefore, it is not symmetric. Now go for transiting now. This is A comma B. This is A comma B. This is B comma C. Because A is 1, B is 1. B is how much now? 1. Therefore, C is how much now? 2. If I design A comma B, maybe C comma C. Because they are the same, but C comma C and C comma C and C comma C. Uh, I will take uh, maybe B comma C here with respect to this. You are check my A comma C here. A comma C. If the are going to pose, you know, the hell to be. This is your, this is your A comma B. Then this will be your B comma C. Now you should look for what now? A comma C. A comma C and they know. One comma. You have shared already. This is A comma B. This is A comma B. This is B comma C. Now you need what? B C. A comma B. B comma C. I. C comma C. A comma C. If you have not checked my first, A comma B. A comma B. Either then B comma C. Next you need. Man, man, who can buy? So, next you need A comma C. A then C. So, therefore, it is transitive. Yoshin, the logic. I don't. It is not a bar. It is not a bar. It is not a bar. B. A, B, then. Next, it is not a B. It is not a C. B, C, then. Next, what you need? A, C. A and A now. C and A are two. In the other. More with the connect. And the three here is money. This is A. B. A. B. Okay, fine. A, B are two. Next to B, C, B are not. B, B. B, B. Correct, sir. A, B. B should start from what now? Two. In the other. Therefore, this is neither. Transitive. This is neither reflexive nor symmetric nor transitive. So let me take one more relationship now. 1 comma 1, 2 comma 2, 3 comma 3. Ah, here is it. Sir, reflexive. It is reflexive because they are not here. 1 comma 1, 2 comma 2, 3 comma 3. So everything is present. So it is reflexive. Symmetric check model. A comma B. 3 comma A. A comma B. 3 comma A. A comma B, B comma A. Yes, it is symmetric also. Then next one, transitive check body. A comma B. Ah, B comma C. Illa, because if A comma B and then B is the end of the day. Therefore, not transitive. Clear? So the third relationship I am going to take now. 1 comma 2, 2 comma 1, then 1 comma 1. Now check. You have a relationship with respect to the A comma B, B comma C. A. Only reflexive agata check mark. Reflexive agata. Reflexive agata. So the no detection is held. Correct. Because 1 comma 1 is there, but we don't have 2 comma 2 and 3 comma 3. Look for the symmetric now. A comma B. B comma C. Then, sorry, B comma B comma A. Then take this one now. A comma B. 2 comma 1. B comma C. B comma C. Sorry. Uh, in front of you, A comma B. You know, B comma A. Then, you are getting the start point. You think A comma B. Forget about this. You can do a check point. A comma B. Then, this is B comma A will be done. A comma B will be done. A comma A. So, this is another symmetric. 
Now look for the transitive A comma B, B comma C. Check my A comma B. B A B at the A to one lady. B is the name of the word C. B B cancel out the should be get what now? A C B L A S to them. One C S to them. One S to them. One. Start from here now. Element. A B. If A B is the name of the B. See, here it will cancel. We will cancel other, you should get what now? 2, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 2, then 3, 2, 3, and 1, 2, 2, check my name, that's the reflexive one, 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 look for the symmetric now, symmetric, A comma B, look for what now? B comma A. So, it is a silver A comma B, B comma A. A comma B, B comma A. A comma B, B comma A. All of you can see, 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 you will fall into trap. A trap is 2 comma 1, 1 comma 2, then therefore it is what? Symmetry. It's not like that. For this one, this one exists. For this one, a comma B, B comma A. Is it there? 2 comma 3, 3 comma 2. It's well, we'll let go. But for 2 comma 3, 3 comma 2. Is it there? A comma B, B comma A. Therefore, it is symmetric. Clear? The final one is, the confusing one is, transitive. Check my A comma B. Fine. A comma B. Then, what is the L start of the third ego? It is. Now we go. B comma C. B comma C. B, B, O, R, A, N, P, R, B, T, A, T, U, R, A, T, U, A, T, U, R, 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 A, 2, 3, 3 in the L start of the Tida, B, C, so B, B over S, 2, 2, B, D, L, next is the body, A, B, 3, 2, 2 in the start of the Tida, 3, 2, 3, 2, here it is, another one check mark for it, fine, 2, 2, B, O, B, 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 DC, then DB cancel out there, we should get 3, 1, 3, 1 is yes, in the, correct the next, in the, 3, comma, 2 is there, 3, comma, 2 belongs to relation, and in the, we have 2, comma, 1 belongs to relation, 2, 2 all the way in the way, that's up to here, so this pro model we cannot be each other, we do not try to prove it, but we try to disprove it, because this pro, once this pro it, and the problem in another thing, simple are we, either one of the key check mark of that, it comes in what, time, why I call this chapter this easy chapter means we always go for what, disprove it, once you disprove it, fine, now you can answer in a disprove model, and the key to what, 3 comma 2 is there, for A comma B is there, B comma C is there, but A is there, but A is there, a comma C is here, 3 comma 1 is here, E1. Therefore, this is not transitive. I thought so it is neither reflexive nor transitive, but it is only symmetric. So, E is not having not 3, they don't sum smart 3, but standard sums are the 3 marks, 100 percent question for that. Prove that the given relation is an equivalence relation of the credit card. Or sums are not known as a metric quantity. What is an equivalence relation? The given relation is reflexive, symmetric, and transitive. But here, out of 
four relations we have talked about. Out of these four relations, none of the relation is an equivalence relation because none of them satis uh, none of them are what reflexive symmetric and transitive. Am I clear? So how to find out how many possible relationships? You need to do Cartesian product. The first one is called from the domain part. The second one is from the codomain. Okay, the first few series of the ways not a problem is not enough. The simple, simple chapter max to max relations from two classes, functions from three classes. EV, K, S, 2, and so on. Clear up? So that's all for now. We'll meet tomorrow.